And this is a video review of some third-party custom cassette tapes. Um, you have like a uh, Classics Ram Horn and Classics uh, Steel Jaw. And uh, they're made by a Transformer uh, designer named Eagle. And they're really neat. They're um, resin figures. I do think they're made out of um, some kind of PVC and a um, ABS plastics. And then they have like little metal screws in them holding them together, but they're pretty good. And when I got them, they were, they were not painted. They were um, kind of like a, uh, this ram horn here it was kind of a pinkish brown plastic, but very light color. And so we, I put a little paint job on it. And same way for um, Steel Jaw, he was kind of a real light colored plastic, like a yellow, very light. Didn't have any of the gold or anything on it. But anyway, they uh, I did do, I made these two custom cards behind it, um, behind each toy, just so they would um, kind of match up with a regular Takara card, and they're just blank on the back. But I actually took the images from this is the packaging. This is for the Ram Horn and Steel Jaws is way bigger, and I don't know why they did it that way, but they just did. So I wanted something kind of you know the same size, so I did the custom cards. But I'm going to show you a little close up. This is the classic style ram horn. They're kind of blocky looking. You can see a little bit of, like he's got some tape detail. And there's the back side and it is Eagle right there, number four. They're about the same size as a regular G1 tape. However, they're a little bit shorter on height right here, on the very top, so they should, they should really be about that much higher. And it'll be exactly the same size as a G1. And as far as thickness, the ram horn is pretty close as far as thickness, but the steel jaw is way thicker. So he will not, uh, steel jaw will not fit into a G1 sound wave or blaster. It will fit into sound blaster or twin cast. And this is the Steel Jaw Classic style. It's got a lot of detail in this one. This is the one he started out with. It's plain on this side. Crazy thing is, he put a Decepticon logo in there. And it's supposed to be an Autobot. So I was just going to cover that up with a Autobot um, logo. You can see the lion's head in there. And on this one, it has his name Eagle. I don't know if you can catch that or not, but it's right in here. He's got it carved inside the, or in, on the plastic actually. And we'll, uh, we'll transform Ram Horn. He's a little easier to transform. Um, all you want to do is you just pull his head down, and you can pull his little horn out here. And underneath, he's got a little mouth that pops open. And you want to grab this, the two halves and pull them apart. And I, there was so much pressure on these little joints here, so I went in and put some little metal plates inside to help, you know, make them stronger. And I think it helped a lot. But anyway, you just fold those back, and it kind of, it's no other tapes do, does this. It's a really neat idea. It's kind of splits in half, and it folds on itself like that. Oh, you do need to pull the tail out first. Let's see. It is kind of tricky getting this out. So I got a, a little knife here I can pull that part out with. So there's his tail. And then you just pull his feet down. His little feet. And what's cool about these, they also have the weapons kind of designed into them. It's pretty tight. But there he goes. Um, like I said, there's his tail on the back. He's got a little bit of detail in there. 
get it to focus. But uh, his legs will cause a transformation. It will bend front and backwards, or swivel, and the neck will go all the way up and that far down. His little horn comes back out. Pull his mouth back out. There. Anyway, you know, pretty nice figures. I just wish they wasn't so fragile in the joint up in the top here. We'll set him aside for right now and we'll transform the, the classic style steel jaw. Um, what you want to do on this guy is, let's see, I think we can pull, okay, we can pull these legs down and we can pull out this neck that extends. See, that's another fragile, little fragile spot in there. Oh, you can pull these off. These are the actual part of the guns and it kind of squares off to the tape. And then you gotta get your uh, fingernail or something in here and kind of pry these apart, which is always very nervous to do because you don't want to break anything. I kind of just ride it down. Come on, come on. That's the only thing about these I don't really care for is I don't want to break them. So that just kind of splits apart. It's kind of like Ramhorn did. And those go down. And then you just bring the legs down. And turn his foot around. And on the back. And you just push his head back like that. And then his head will, or that was his neck or whatever, part of his head. He's pull his uh, head or face out here. And you can pull his mouth down. So I'm going to do the other side. We'll pull that leg down. And right here on top is his tail. Which, let me use this knife here to get that out. So there is a steel jaw. And we're going to put his uh, guns on him. He's got his uh, gold wings on, and then we just put these little pieces on. They, oh, let me show you that. They, they are together this way on the tape. So you pull that off the top, and then you want to pop these little, these little uh, guns or whatever these are out. They flip out. All these little parts are kind of a pain to get out. And then one of these has a peg on one side, one has a has holes. So so this side doesn't have anything sticking out on the leg, so you want to put the one with the pegs on the on that area. And they're kind of loose, but it's just not a good idea really. That's how that's supposed to go. It fits on that side and the other side has this peg out and that's when it folds up they close into each other. So you just plug that in. As you can see they both want to spin. It's just not a good idea. It's a, it's a nice thought but it just doesn't work. So I'm going to get them to stay there. I'm trying to end this video. I got 45 seconds here. Here's a close up. Um, third party classic style steel jaw and third party classic style ram horn. I don't know if you'll ever see these again. There's only, uh, this one's only one of 30. This is one of 100. Um, maybe we'll see a mass produce, uh, production of these, but who knows. Sorry guys, it's been a while since I put a video out. Um, I do appreciate y'all watching and this is G1 Collector. Thanks.